Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock so we can determine whether it's a buy or a sell. At the end of the video we look at the financial ratios, leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. The company we're going to look at today is Tech Resources and they operate in the mining and mineral development of coal, copper, zinc, lead, gold, silver and more. They also trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of 8.1 billion Canadian dollars. So that's the value of the company according to the stock market. Let's see what they're trading at. 1513, so that's one share of stock. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then you discount that number back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And now I'm going to pull their actual free cash flows. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. And we also need their net income, which is the profit and loss on the income statement. And then we need the revenue, which are the sales for each year. That's also an income statement. We want to take a quick look at the numbers. They had one year with negative net income, but they did have positive free cash flow, which is good. And all the prior years, they had tons of free cash flow, over $1 billion. One year is close to $3 billion. So that's pretty good. Let's look at a capital structure. The interest they pay in their debt is $88 million. And let's see how much debt they have. We'll go to the balance sheet, go to liability section. Current debt of $29 million. Long-term debt of $5 billion. So they only pay 1.73% interest on their debt. Interest payments are tax deductible, so let's get their effective tax rate. Income before tax of 4.5 billion. Income tax of 1.4 billion. 30% in taxes, so the cost of debt is only 1.2%. So it pays for this company to take debt out because it's so cheap. Let's get the cost of equity, we need the beta, that's how volatile the stock is relative to the market. So their beta is 1.68, so the stock moves a little more than one and a half times the market. Let's get their current assets, that's on the balance sheet. We need the current assets to calculate the current ratio. We're going to look at the company's ratios later at the end of the video. And current assets is 4.5 billion. And let's see what that is. A billion of cash, a billion of receivables, and two billion of inventory. Let's get their current liabilities, that's 2.8 billion. 29 million of current debt, 1.3 billion of accounts payable, that's how much they owe the companies. 89 million of taxes payable, that's how much they owe the government within the next 12 months in taxes. 528 million of accrued liabilities. These are expenses the company has incurred but has not yet paid. Deferred revenue of 46 million. This is when a company receives money for a product or service but has not yet delivered the product or service. And 476 million of other. Stockholders' equity of 21 billion dollars. That's the value of the company according to the balance sheet. 6 billion of common stock, 14.5 billion of retained earnings. Retained earnings is all your net incomes that you received minus the dividends you paid out. And 309 million of accumulated other comprehensive income. We also need the operating income on the income statement, that's two and a half billion. Let's look at a capital structure, 19% debt, cost of debt 1.2%, 81% equity, cost of equity 15.2%. And a WAC is 12.5%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. And that's the discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows. So we estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. That's here in green. We get a value of the company at $25 billion. If we divide that by 535 million shares, we get a calculate stock price of $46. They're trading at 15, so they're trading at a 67% discount. So it's a strong buy according to the model. Simply Wall Street has them even higher at $62 a share. Let's see where they've been trading at. So it looks like they peaked around 
$38 a few years back, but they've dropped quite a bit. So it seems like a really good value. Let's look at the financial ratios. Negative PE, amazing price of sales and amazing price to book. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. They have negative net income, so they have negative PE. That's only in 2019, negative net income. But if you look at the PE for prior years, it will be positive. Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue or shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at 0.7, so investors are paying 70 cents for $1 revenue. This is a great ratio. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. I like to see below 3.5, they're at 0.4, so investors are paying 40 cents for $1 book value. So book value per share at $39 indicates that if the company went bankrupt, liquidated all its assets, paid off all its debts, it would have $39 left over to give to each shareholder. That means each shareholder would get a 200% return if the company went bankrupt. Good current ratio, great interest coverage ratio, and bad ROE. Current ratio is current assets of current liabilities. I like to see between 1.2 and 2. They're at 1.6, so that's good. They can cover their current debts and payables. ROE is net income over equity, and they have negative net income, so they have negative ROE. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense. They can easily cover their interest expense, so that's not a problem. I haven't done a video on a company in the industry basic material, so I can't compare them to anyone, but let me know what you think. Leave a comment, I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching.